in the back room of the Romney toy shop, I found one specific toy that will either ignite a raging jealousy deep inside your gut, or you'll think I'm a complete lunatic for being this excited about it. It comes on in lights, but we can't get it probably a gear sheared on. For 75 bucks. You're asking his, 75? Got his sword, yeah, I need oh, 75. Yeah, sold for sure. Yeah. That's Bloggy yeah. flip. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good, good. It's, this, is, this is my buddy Rick. Hey, how's it going? He said today it's foggy flips. <laughs> man, it, it, it was a foggy drive for sure. I mean, nice Anthony, you. nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Terry. Terry, nice to meet you. Terry Thank you. Rick. I'm awesome. Rick. Hey, Rick. Anthony. Nice to, nice to meet you, man. I like your videos. Well, thank you so much, man. I like toys. Yeah, all right. This looks like the spot for him. This is our third year next month. Uh huh. And, uh, him and I have been doing toys as a side hustle together for 30 years. Yeah. And uh, I've been into it longer than that. He used to be my mailman. Oh, really? Like three different, <laughs> two houses and a business I had. Awesome. We're both retired now, and this yeah. is our full-time hustle. But we don't sell online. We just have good prices and move a lot of stuff. That's awesome, yeah. That's, I do four or five shows a year. Yeah. Chicago. I just got into Great Ohio last year. Ooh, that that's a good an one. awesome show. Mm -hmm. So, like, you were there last year then? or I, like I was in... I did one the last October. I, I was in there, uh -huh. and I've got, I've got a perfect booth. It's right in front of the bathrooms, uh -huh. so everyone has to go by it eventually. Yeah, it's in the main building, yeah. the big one, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna keep that spot till I die, probably. We're, we're doing what we love, it, we, and we don't. Like I said we don't have to get rich off nothing. We just well, sure just having like, fun we doing just it. Just flip it quick and get more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are awesome. I picked those up in Chicago. Really? Ago, yeah. I got a couple of them loose, but none carded right now. Oh, yeah. How much have on these? Um, the Logway's the best one. Mm -hmm. he, he's like, uh, some, I sold one of them. Um, he's like 275 and the other three are 200. Okay. His his bubble's the cleanest too. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to think about those. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Quite possibly. Uh, 10 bucks with the yellow bubble. That's, that's a pretty good deal. Colby and Terry. I do not have that. Power cord. I don't know much about this line, but it seems like a good way to check it out. Found a peewee piece I don't have. Oh, yeah. Yep. Carded. Yeah. yeah, we found out of them. I had a box doll and a couple other pieces. Yeah. I finally got the. Uh, unopened playhouse oh yeah so yeah that's like the yeah i've had a couple of them on in the scooter uh -huh. and, but, uh, oh yeah the scooter <laughs> i would love to have the scooter if you like muscles here's some good vintage muscles oh yeah <laughs> there we go those boxes are better than others but those run like i don't know about 100 bucks a piece i get three three dollars for them loose anymore that's pretty cool i got loose ones too Always looking for muscle stuff. I need yeah. the ring now. Yeah, yeah. I got the belt at the Ohio Toy oh, okay, Show. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, on that one. That one's pretty cool, too. These are really taking off, too. I've just heard little things about these, but, yeah. you know, I figured might as well grab one and kind of check it out. Yeah. Power Lords. So I kind of like this one, too, because the box is a different color. Yeah. So this is number one. Yeah. That's number two. Okay, maybe both of these. All right. Maybe both of those. Because okay. that's just a double. Okay. You, you sleep back here if you want. It's... Yeah, pardon the mess, but there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, okay. Stuff that we haven't filtered through the floor yet. If you don't mind, sure. Here's an oddball rack pack. Vegas? You probably don't even remember that one. Uh-uh. Robert Urich. He's a detective in Vegas. He drove huh. around in that T-Bird all. That was a, huh. That's pretty neat. That's, that's a pretty cool show. <laughs> I remember watching it. It's Ooh, Mighty Max, though. Yeah, that's got a lot of pieces in it. It's, it's more than just those two guys. Yeah. I don't know... I'm kind of waiting to find some more things unless somebody wants to buy it as a bundle. Okay. These are hard to find. It's missing one thing, uh, two stools and the, the guns, but I got <laughs> the, the figures. I've had this, I don't know how many times. It sells instantly. That's Space 1999. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Kind of like a giant Micronaut style yeah, or giant, something. Yeah, giant play set, but, but. That's pretty cool. That I mean, that really looks like her. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And then That's Mark neat. Landau's the other guy. Those two were on Mission Impossible uh-huh. TV show together. They were married. Uh-huh. And then they went and started at that one. That's pretty cool. And, and these are just, I'm sure all of them were broken right away. Space, space. Those things. are neat, aren't Isn't they? Isn't that cool? That is cool. Just grocery store stuff. Yeah, you know? I love these. Impulse buyers. I think I like these. Yeah, those, Actually, those so are cool. For, probably grab these from you. Yeah. That's the best. Now, I'd sell, it's missing the little guys. There's little guys that go in each one of these ships. I'll show you. It's missing the, they go in each one of the ships. Uh-huh. Kind of like the Voltron stuff. But it, it's there to build the complete, oh, okay. the complete robot. I have pieces to that, so that's yeah. what that is, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'd, sell this for, I'd sell it cheap just because most guys aren't even going to know what it is. Maybe that's I have the guys, yeah. I might take that. Bucks. Okay, deal. Sure, sure. Oh, you have the 18 Mighty Car? Yeah. That, it comes on in lights, but we can't get it to go. Like, there's probably a gear shear on. Uh, oh, yeah. For 75 bucks, it's complete. You're it's asking seventy five. Got his sword, yeah. I need oh, seventy five. Yeah, sold for sure. Yeah. That's yeah. It, it's a killer piece <laughs> for sure. Because most of them are this one, uh-huh. this guy. It's not the A team. Yeah, but he's yeah, Mr. T. Some of them came in with him, and his sword's in there too. If I didn't notice that, and I was just like looking back, like yeah. at this later, I would have been so mad at myself. Oh, but yeah, that's yeah. that's that's high on the list. Yeah, that's they awesome. They're Ooh, Rolling Stones. Stickers. That's neat, isn't it? Yeah, they're eighty three, but they never oh, made okay. very much. Rolling Stones, anything. That's neat. Isn't I got it? those off of a, and he since passed, but he was a, a Beatles fanatic. Uh-huh. And he, he sold me three boxes of those once. He says, he says you want to get these. These are there, there's, there's not much Rolling Stones out there, and they're well worth it. He yes. told me he sells those for six, eight bucks a pack. Those are mint too, aren't yeah. they? Those oh are, yeah. Those are. Clear. I got, I got, I got two more boxes of those at home. I just brought that one in. New kids on the block. <laughs> Hey. There was a time where I would have bought those too. <laughs> hey, Donnie's back. <laughs> I think they're on tour again, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are. One more time. Dick Tracy's <laughs> a good one, aren't they? Yeah. I do have a box of those. Those are one of the few that I have. Right. Yes. Oh, I, um, I like the G.I. Joe ones. Is that a graded uh, Dune figure in there? Yes, it is. So I've only is? got two great, graded figures of that one wrestling figure and this one. I'm not a firm believer in grading. I'm not either. But that's a pretty cool figure. I couldn't pass it up. Sometimes if I don't collect a line, yeah. I'll buy one graded yeah, or, from that line yeah. just to have it. And of that line, of course, yeah. you got to have Sting. That's cool. <laughs> I threw in the G.I. Joe and the Rock Lord guy to oh, thank you. help offset the tax. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Here's another item that's really cool you never see before <laughs> who who doesn't have a pair of starskin and those shows? are vintage aren't they yeah oh my gosh they were thrown in on a deal with me That's I, just, I just thought that was all ultimate and funny that is hilarious <laughs> <laughs> i could see either one of those guys wearing them oh for sure that. i think i have these two so that means i should probably buy these three right here yeah yep okay we're gonna give you a christmas present oh nice now these he's got a story for them okay came from the marks dump in west virginia really dug out of the ground you dug them out well yeah i've dug a lot of them out. <laughs> he had the inside on the marks really dump for years and he's got a youtube video of him cleaning yeah. cleaning well, not marks your figures standards, but oh that's awesome oh wow views. they did an article in this magazine they did it and the guy that owned the land got mad <laughs> because everybody <laughs> and his brother tried to this is the, the, the map behind the factory uh-huh they would just bulldoze yeah, and dump yeah. dump that is junk. so cool yeah, they would, if they have a sprue they'd come out half filled uh-huh well, all, they'd trash all the figures that were on it yeah it's really cool and those were from the hunting party uh-huh the three dinosaurs three dinosaurs those two figures came in a box used to sell for fifteen hundred dollars that's so crazy well that's really cool thank you very much oh yeah a little bit of history right yeah. there what was the coolest thing that you found in the oh he's found some killer stuff oh, killer stuff really <laughs> <laughs> i mean what thing figures was it you got that horde of pinky lee pinky lee okay little, he's a cartoon kind of like a peewee herman yeah in the yeah. 40s oh, that's and then awesome we found um old man marks would go to club 54 new york uh-huh he'd pass out nudes 
<laughs> so I got oh, a new fill well. lips still. Man, those are the stories you don't hear. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this stuff. Uh, there was 13 of us that started out there. Uh-huh. I think I don't know, only three of us left. That is really neat, though. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Thank well, you so much. Right on. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, man. Let me shake we'll your hand. We'll look forward to seeing you again. Absolutely, man. All right. I'll, I'll be back after Christmas. Thank you. So we made it back to the showroom. Man, oh man, in the back room of the Romney Toy Shop, I found one specific toy that will either ignite a raging jealousy deep inside your gut, or you'll think I'm a complete lunatic for being so excited about this thing. But we'll get to that in just a second. The Romney Toy Shop in Romney, Indiana, it's one of those places that's recommended to me constantly. It's about 80 miles away from me, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because if it was any closer, I'd be there all the time at this point. The back room is magic. Apparently there's a basement that, you know, maybe one of these days I'll get to go check out. Terry and Rick are probably two of the nicest guys that I've encountered in the toy business so far. So just an all around awesome experience. Definitely recommend you check it out. Without further ado, let me give you a closer look at some of this amazing stuff I came home with. So obviously lots of great stuff. I'll go through most of this pretty quickly because there's one piece in particular I probably want to spend the most time on. Continuing with my recent fascination for retail store boxes for trading cards and things like that, picked up a few examples such as the sealed 1991 Impel G.I. Joe box, along with the sealed box of Terminator 2 cards, also from 1991 I believe. Also got a full box of the Robocop 2 wax packs. This one's not sealed, but it is Robocop, so you gotta pick it up. And then I thought this one was really cool. It's a full box of three dozen Rolling Stone sticker sets. This is from 1983. Cover art's just awesome on this one. I love the pink in the background. You open it up and it's completely full of sealed sticker packs. Just not one that I've come across before, so definitely had to grab it. And then I thought these vintage rack toys were super cool. Made by Imperial in 1970 with a price tag of 39 cents a piece. Would have been hanging somewhere in the grocery store probably. Kid spots it, mom buys it, everyone's happy. These are from the Apollo Moon Exploring series. It says, they really work. Authentic mechanical replica. Thought they were really neat. Picked up two of those. Apparently there's 12 in the series. The other one looks like this. Like I said, just thought they were really cool. Grab some random loose figures from Ultraman and Power Lords. Power Lords is a line that I've kind of wanted to explore more recently, so picked up the first figure when I saw it. Got some incomplete Shogun diecast figures. I just always love these things. Got another carded Pee Wee's Playhouse figure to put on the rack over here. This one is Randy and Globy. I did not have it, so that'll make a great addition. And speaking of loose figures, this was a really cool gift from Rick. These are Mark's Flintstones figures that he himself pulled out of the Mark's landfill. Had a really cool story to go along with it. An article was even written about it. I need to look more into it myself because it definitely sounds interesting, but just a really nice gift. I picked up a little Mighty Max lot, mostly because inside the bag, I noticed some figures I need for my Skull Mountain that I picked up recently, so definitely seemed like a no-brainer on that one. These vintage Mattel muscle sets are something I'm always on the lookout for. You see bags of muscle figures all the time and in various places, but you don't really see box stuff too often. So I think they made four of these sets. This is number one, the Thug Buster set. It's got the green border. And then over here we have number two, the Cosmic Cruncher set. This one has the red border. So now there's still two more of these to find, I believe, but glad to scratch two off the list at least. Here's a piece I thought was pretty interesting. You don't see LJN Dune figures too often. Until recently, they weren't even on my radar. A friend of mine picked up a big collection. I thought they were pretty cool. Not really something I plan on collecting, but when I saw this graded figure, kind of had the same idea I had with my uh, recent graded Cobra Commander figure. Just buy one encapsulated version like this, just to have a little bit of representation. I thought this one was a great deal, too. It's graded an 85+, plus, which is a really high grade for a loose figure. It was priced at 90 bucks, and honestly, that's about what this figure, loose complete, will run you. So, so to find one with such a high grade encapsulated already, definitely a good deal. And then of course I picked up three of the Kenner Ewoks figures. Bubbles are a little yellowed on these, but the cards are actually very nice. In fact, this one over here is even unpunched. The King Gornish figure does have a little denting as well, but I can certainly live with that. This was a series of six figures, two of which I already had. The last remaining one I need would be Wicket, which I believe is also the most expensive and the hardest to find, which makes sense because I still don't have him. And then we have the 
Chrono Form Multiforce. Now, I am not a Transformers guy, and I don't understand these lines that came before or the things that came after. It just really confuses me. But there was something about this box that kind of looked familiar to me. He said that it was missing these little pilots, and that reminded me that about a year ago, I picked up a toy lot and kind of salvaged this little bag of parts, where as you can see, there's lots of pieces that kind of match these pieces in here. So inside the bag, I remembered that there's also these little pilots. I think I have four of those here. And I believe these little pilots should complete this entire set. So definitely had to pick it up. It seemed like a good price and I'm sure having it complete now only increases that value. And then that brings us to the star of the show, this beauty right here. This is an unlicensed knockoff called a Mighty Car. It's like a mutated version of Mr. T inside the A-Team van with police lights, complete with accessories like a battle axe and a big blaster. It's the most ridiculously awesome thing I think I've ever seen. I'm not gonna pretend that I've been hunting for this for years or anything, but about six months ago, I was watching a TV show called Collector's Call, where people show off their various collections of different things. And this one guy had about the most amazing vintage toy collection I've ever seen. And pretty much the highlight of his collection was this piece right here. I instantly went searching on eBay, which is not something I normally do, but I had to try to get my hands on one. Of course, nothing available, couldn't find one anywhere, so just kind of put it in the back of my mind, hoping I'd find it someday, and then I walk in, I see this box, I knew exactly what it was. Now this box does confuse me a little bit. The few examples that I've seen online usually have Mr. T's head also on the box. This one has kind of a Sectors knockoff head, which this company right here, Sun AI Toys, they do have kind of a knockoff Sectors line as well, but not really sure why it's on this box. Not sure if actual examples of this Mighty Car also exist, but you know, I'll keep an eye out for it. I did put batteries in this and it's very loud. It kind of works. There's a motor down here at the bottom that kind of spins things. However, the motor is not spinning like it should, so only one light comes on at a time and you have to manually spin it. Mr. T's head kind of lights up. I'm going to try to have it repaired and then I'll make a little short of it or something, but just the fact that it's in such good condition and complete, all the decals are on there, and it does have a box. Man, I am very, very happy with this. I had no clue what a price for something like this would be. You could have told me $2,500 and I would have been like, yep, that makes sense. So for 75 bucks, I am definitely a happy camper. And this is gonna be one of the highlights of my collection for sure. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye.